You'll see how long the rattlesnake's venom takes to kill a rat. We have a big magnum buck rat here. It's a huge rat. You can see the venom's having quite an effect quickly. It's an albino eastern diamondback rattlesnake. And this one has quite potent venom. This is a big rat, really big, and he's not lasting very long at all. He's already lost most of his motor skills. The rattlesnake is an ambush predator, and he bites the rat. And his venom does have some neurotoxic qualities, but it's mostly a hemotoxic attack in the blood and tissue. The enzymes digesting the flesh inside of the rat. As that venom's going through his system, it's just eating away. So the rat's not lasting long. But what the snake does, he waits for the animal to die, and then he uses his sense of smell. He sticks that tongue out, and the Jacobson's organ inside of his head identifies the smells, and he tracks the rat. He follows his trail, like a hound dog following the trail of an animal. He tracks it by smell until he comes to the dead rat, and the rat's dead, so he's able to swallow him without having to worry about the rat biting him or doing anything to him. So the venom is an awesome way for him to kill his prey. And you can see the rat here is dying. Now this is a slow process and the snake may take hours to consume this meal. From the time he bites the rat until he tracks it down and swallows the rat. A lot of time can go by, maybe an hour or two, which would be pretty boring on a video. You can see the rat's really having trouble moving now. He's dragging his back legs. Losing his motor skills. The venom's taking effect. This is a painstakingly long process, so I'm not going to sit here and film the whole time because, you know, you nobody has hours to wait. But I just thought you'd like to see how quick the venom reacts on an animal like this, so you know if you get bitten by this rattlesnake. This is going to be painful. You heard the rat scream when he bit him. The venom does cause pain. The enzymes eating away the tissue inside the rat. And right now, as the rat's taking his last kicks here, dragging his body along. It's been about three minutes since the snake bit the rat. You can hear his labored breathing right now. He is still breathing, though. But this is the eastern diamondback. They are the largest rattlesnake in the world. Found in the eastern United States, southeast. They get massive with a record size of close to eight feet long. In many places, they've become very rare. Because it's such a big snake, you know. They come across the path of people. People usually kill them. But they're such a magnificent animal. Look at him open his mouth there. Straightening his jaws out. Look at the fangs. You see the fangs? Wow. Wow. You see that hole between his eye and his nose? That hole, that down low there, or close to the lip? That's his heat-sensing pit. That's why they call him a pit viper. 
That's what locates the warm-blooded fit. Let's zoom in here. You see the eye and the nostril is up high, and then that pit, that big hole down low there, close to the lip. You should open that mouth again. Maybe you'll yawn one more time and give us a good look at those fangs. Is he sticking that tongue out? See that tongue sticking out ever so easily, just flicking out the tip of his mouth there. He's sticking his tongue out, tasting the air. Super keen sense of smell. Mr. Rat over here. Taking his last breaths here. Five minutes in. Luckily, we're much bigger than a rat. So if you're bitten by a snake like this, try to stay calm. That's the hardest part. They treat the snake bite with anti-venom. Anti-venom is made from a horse's blood. They inject the venom into a horse. The horse builds up an immunity. And they take the antibodies from the horse's blood. And this is what we call anti-venom. It's a clear serum that they inject into you intravenously. Now, they'll drip that in slowly if you've been bitten by a venomous snake like this. Now, here in the United States, we have the pit vipers, the copperhead, the cottonmouth, and the rattlesnake. We have many types of rattlesnake. A few types of copperhead. Some cotton mouths. Now these pit vipers all have a hemotoxic venom. Although it has mild neurotoxic qualities in it, it's mostly a hemotoxin. And they have a polyvalent antivenom. Polyvalent means this antivenom works for each, all of these three types of snake. Whether it's a rattlesnake, copperhead, or cotton mouth. So they don't have to have a different anti-venom for each one. That's a great thing. So if you're bitten by a pit viper here in the United States, you can go to the hospital and they have a one anti-venom that covers these three types here, which is awesome. This is the Eastern Diamondback. And they just bit a rat to kill it. This is gonna take quite some time before the snake gets around to swallowing this rat. Of course, I moved a little bit and that you know, the snake rattled its tail to let me know that, uh, you know, stay away. A little warning there. But the rat's dying, and the eastern out of that ground, maybe you can see what they look like and how that venom works. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video about the snake. I'll talk to you all later. Have an awesome, blessed rest of your day.